Hello and welcome. This is Ruth and thanks very much for joining me again today. If you haven't been here before, you're more than welcome and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done that and then you'll be able to see lots more of these videos as they come along. So this one is for Tonic Studios and it's a showcase die set called 3D Christmas. So we'll have a quick look at the die set and then I'll go ahead and show you how I have used it to make some Christmas trees. First of all, we have this large outline die shape here, and that cuts a standalone tree shape. And I can show you one that I've already cut out here, because these two die sets are quite different. So this one will cut out this shape, and then the one which is inside it on the die set, that's here. I have all of these on my magnetic platform, but I have it folded down flat just to get it into the video. So this one actually creates another standalone die cut. So when you cut that out, you'll get this shape. And those then can be used together because obviously this fits directly around this. Now if you have a little look at the other dies in the set, this large one will cut out this shape. But this one actually doesn't have any outside cutting edges so it's a verso die which means it cuts this pattern into a plain piece of card and you can use that in any way you like but if you use it with this one like so it will then give you this lovely shape but you must use the two of those together to get that because as I say this inner one doesn't have any cutting edges on it. So just be aware of that whenever you're cutting these out because if you go ahead, like I did, <laughs> and cut this one out first and then decide you'll cut this one, if you if you don't leave enough space to add this around the outside afterwards, well you've wasted quite a bit of your card, so just bear that one in mind. Now although this makes a beautiful 3D set, you, you can of course use this on cards, you can use it on home decor, you can use it for all sorts of things. So I'm going to show you how to make a 3D uh, Christmas tree with both of these and just because they're slightly different I'm going to show you both of them and then decorate it with this but you could use these for all sorts of things and use these little tags and things that come with it. So don't limit yourself with that and also they'll look totally different if you use different colours of card and different textures of card like I've done here. So there's lots of other different dies on the set as well for embellishing this. And there are some beautiful tags, there's a beautiful star shaped one and a lovely oval there with a little dotted edge around it and an, an insert. But there are beautiful little baubles as well as you can see I've already die cut them and I've got them here. And then this little heart one and that's here. And then we've got the candy cane, so that's this one. And I've got that from candy cane card as well there. And then this cute little bow here and I've got some of those in there. And then we've got this beautiful Merry Christmas. Hopefully you can see that there. And there's an outside edge for that, a little backing plate as well. We've also got Peace, Noel and Joy and Love here. And lots of other little bits and pieces and a couple of presents. So I will set these over and then get started. I've started off with these two dies. So I've cut this outside one in Lucky Shamrock Glitter card. That's really, really beautiful. Um, it just really reminded me of a sparkly Christmas tree. And then I took this one and I thought I'd, I'd love the two colours to look the same colourway but different textures. So I took the flourishing green satin card there and I'm going to layer that one on top. Now, as you can see, this one actually has the score line down the centre. You can see it there on the die. This little line creates this fold line here. But this one, obviously because it's on the outside of that, there was no room for that on it. So you'll need to go ahead, if you're going to make a 3D uh, shape with this, and score that perfectly down the centre from the point of the star right down to the bottom there. So I'm just going to stand up, get my, this straightened. Now, on my scoreboard, this edge here, because it's flat, that will fit right up against there. 
Now what you want to do is make sure you've got the point of the star here and then you set that down, check again and there's your score line. So now you can go ahead and just fold that over on this line and just make sure as you fold it, because it's thick enough card, just make sure that you're still level with the edges the whole way right up to the top there. And when you've that done, then you can burnish it with your little bone folder or whatever you've got. And then again on this one, the score line's already there, so if you just turn it over and just gently ease. Now, be very, very careful with this one because it's a kind of filigree pattern. So this piece wants to bend more than this piece, but it's really the centre that you're trying to get folded. So just go very carefully with it, very gently. And there you are. You can feel the fold from the top the whole way down. Just go very, very gently. And once you've got that created the whole way down to the bottom, that little fold line, then you can go ahead and fold it right over. Now, when those are folded, I have found that it's much, much easier to put this in here and keep it folded like that and glue it together because if you imagine well, if you've done made some memory books and things and you know that you're going you've folded some pages over and they've been thick, well, the glue will hold this to it flat, but when you when you move this over, then the edges seem to pucker a little bit. So it definitely works much easier if you fold this over first of all, keep it in this kind of shape here and glue this into the center and even with the glitter card and whatever, this beautiful uh, deluxe adhesive, the Nouveau stuff works really really well with that. So I'll glue this in and then we'll assemble it. I decided to make this into a four-sided uh, dimensional Christmas tree. So I've gone ahead and I've done this with three others and then now I'm going to glue all of these together and then I'll start to decorate it. So it's very very important at this stage to make sure that when you're gluing these sides together that you get these edges really really even because you don't want any of that white of the back of the card showing through. So when you've glued it on one side don't forget just to turn it over and have a little look and readjust. So that's why you would be very, very wise to be using wet glue. Wet glue is always better for this kind of thing anyway, but it gives you that little bit of time to manoeuvre it about and make sure you've got it exactly right. Kind of reminded me of a paper airplane when it got to that stage. Anyway, enough. And then when you get to the fourth one, you'll remember to put glue on both sides of that and just pop that in there. Now, while I'm assembling this and sort of fiddling about with the glue here and making sure I get it right, I um, just want to remind you to leave me a little comment if you can down in the comments below because I always like to hear what you're thinking and it also helps my channel. It'll help me know what kind of videos you like and it also keeps my channel moving along a bit too so I'm trying to grow that and uh, trying to make sure that I make things that you all like so you could help me out on that by 
keeping active and um, giving it a little like if you can, uh, if you do like it of course, but more than anything leaving me a little comment because I always appreciate that, really really appreciate everybody who does that and thanks very very much for every everyone who does. Now that's it, all assembled and you can see there how easy was that to put together and I actually really really like that green tone on tone effect. I'll just measure that so we can see what size you're talking about because obviously you don't have much of an idea from there but this measures 19 and a quarter centimetres from top to bottom there and widthwise we're talking about uh, I would say about 12 but I'll measure that properly whenever the glue's dried actually <laughs> I'll measure this so yes 12 centimetres right across the base of that one now I will have a little look at this now I'll put some of these on and I'll just start gluing some of these on. I had kind of underestimated just how many of those little um, de decorations I needed so I had to die cut some more and then I added some of these beautiful candy cane sequins on but there's the lovely tree finished. And that's really, really beautiful and it's very, very sturdy. So that would make a really nice table centre or a little decoration on your mantelpiece or something like that. And obviously you could make that in whatever colours you like and that would tone in with your home decor or whatever. Or just whatever you're going to use it for. So that's the first one. And I have gone ahead then and cut out the pieces for the second one. And as I told you, you'll need both of the dies for the other one to cut out this shape. And then this one has the score line down there and you'll do exactly, oops, <laughs> you'll cut out the background one again. So I have cut it out in plain black and then I've used sugar crystal glitter card for the top piece. Now this doesn't fit the way this one does with a little gap around the outside. So it's very, very important that you're very, very careful with your folding and your gluing on this one because it's exactly the same size. So what I've done is I've cut the black as I said and this time instead of cutting four pieces as I have on that, you can just see it there, I have cut three of each this time and I'm going to do a little three, what is that, a trifold or whatever, little tree. So score that down the centre very very carefully, make sure everything's lined up perfectly and burnish it with your, your uh, bone folder. And then do exactly the same thing with this one, but on this one you'll be able to feel that score line. So go ahead and do that. Checking again that all of it matches up on the other side. And then just burnish down that score line. Right, so that's it ready to roll. And I'm going to do exactly the same thing this time. Keep this in the shape. Now it doesn't have to be just exactly at 90 degrees the way the other one was because I'm not doing a four sided one as I said. This will be three sided so you can open it out slightly. But be very very careful when you're putting the glue in and getting these pieces together that you get all of these little end pieces just exactly where they should be. You don't want those sort of sitting up or sitting it, obviously it's it's handmade and you can get away with a little bit of error on it. It looks quite rustic and will look really nice but don't be going getting big pieces showing there that shouldn't be there at all. So we'll go ahead and put the glue in. And then I've already cut the other pieces out so I've got two of them joined together and I'm going to put glue on here and then put this in. Then 
I can go ahead and decorate this with some of these. Now I think because this pattern is um, it's it's two co two colours on it. I don't want to add this because it just looks a bit messy. I think when I've got a stripe on top of this black and white. So I want to stick to plain colours this time and I'll go ahead and glue lots of these on. That's the second little tree finished there and uh, I'm just being really really careful because I have also put some um, I think it's yeah honey gold glitter drops on top and obviously they're not dry yet so I don't want to smudge them all over the place but I think that has turned out really well and um, you can see there how the three-sided one has turned out and how the four-sided one has turned out and they're both completely different but really beautiful I think I'm really happy with them so I hope you've enjoyed that if you have don't forget to let me know don't forget to leave me a little comment down below um, that always keeps me going keeps me smiling when I read what you've written down below usually <laughs> uh, so thank you very very much and um, don't forget if you haven't already subscribed to my channel to do that as well and hit the notification bell and then you'll know the next time one of these videos comes up. You can also leave me some suggestions as well as to things that you'd like to see coming up in the future obviously. Um, I am sort of tied with different tonic launches and things and the dates for that as well but uh, I am free to do different things with these if you ever want as well so I like to hear about that. And um, until next time, I will leave my affiliate links down below to any of this if any of you are interested in buying any of it, uh, to the card and to the showcase die set itself. And uh, you know I make a little commission from that, but it won't cost you any more at all. So thank you very, very much. I always appreciate everybody who uses those too. Until next time, happy crafting. Bye bye.